All right, YouTube. So we have some conduit to run. <laughs> so this is this the black conduit. I will tell you now, I got the split, and you can get the solid split. Basically, um, I, I, I just got what I got. Um, I was thinking that way I can run the, the wires through and then pull them out if they were like halfway or something. But uh, you can get the solid. Um, I will tell you, if you buy um, this conduit, you're better off getting it. You can buy it from um, Walmart. Walmart, I paid 17 bucks for 100 feet. Yeah. So, you know, I know other vendors are selling it for three, four times that much. Um, Walmart. <laughs> Online. Walmart store. 100 feet, $17. Um, the other thing is my fasteners. I got these from Panduit. I don't have the model number. I have to go look, but I'll take a picture so you guys can see. And the way that this goes, these use uh, zip ties. And so you would mount them. So I got to drill the holes uh, and rivet these, but you would mount them similar to that. And then the conduit would sit on top and then they would be zip tied. Um, so that's how that works. And these, if you look at them, they sit flush, even with the lightning holes here, they actually sit flush to the, to the part. So, um, so yeah, so these are the pieces. So today what we're gonna do is drill the holes, get these mounted. Now, where do you place your conduit? Now, for me, I am gonna place my conduit in these two lightning holes here, in the first two lightning holes. This here is where the uh, actuator arm goes through, so I wanna stay away from there. I could probably do it here, but then again, I've got, if I put it here, I've got the brackets gonna come up, so this way I got plenty of clearance. So I've got two runs, one for the pedostatic system, which is gonna run, and then I'm gonna terminate it here on this rib because the pedostatic is gonna go here. So I'm gonna terminate it here. Um, I might even terminate it back here, I don't know. Uh, but like I said, I wanna kinda keep this area clean uh, in here, especially when we get over on the other side with the servos because the servo motors and all of that's going to go in here and stuff. So I want to kind of keep this. So I'm thinking these two up here um, would be the best bet. Uh, I could be wrong. <laughs> so, and I do know that I'm going to mount the pedostatic control. It's a little box. Um, I'm going to have to build up a, I don't have it yet but I've seen other people that have the same box. So I'm gonna build up a, uh, a, a nut system uh, um, so, uh, so I can put those here and then mount it using just screws. And the reason why I'm putting it here is because the access panel for this control arm here is, is right here. So I'll be able to get to the part here. But like I said, the pedal static, it's actually gonna get on this side. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the conduit but uh, I'm gonna get these drilled. I'm not gonna run these every, I'm gonna alternate them. So they're gonna be alternated every other uh, uh, fastener for each one. So I'm gonna run here and then up here, actually up here. So I've gotta get these, like I said, I gotta get these drilled out and then we will proceed. Now, huh, glad I looked at this because they do alternate. So I have to make sure I get them in the alternating in the right direction. And then, like I said, they're just zip tied. Oh, lights went out. No, I gotta fix that. That is an issue. So our, my hanger has a uh, timer, 15 minute timer. And of course the fuselage is in the way. So it blocks the timer. So I have to fix, I was gonna replace that with a light switch, but I gotta be careful. I don't own the building. Um, I'm renting it, so I don't know how the county would appreciate me, uh, you know, putting a switch on there. So, all right, enough of that, and uh, you guys know the routine. We've got a plane to build, and it's not going to build itself, so I got to get to work. Oh, all right, YouTube, there you go. So I got one in, <laughs> so we got the, the ties in. So this is my AOA and my um, AOA and my pedo 
static system tube. I could have ran it down here in the bottom, but I just went ahead and ran it together. Um, I got these riveted in, these little clips. As you can see, I probably cut these back. I'll, I'll cut these back to make it. Now, the secret that I found is I made myself a little jig. Very easy, has my hole for my rivet. And I used this and I lined up. I knew where it needed to be in relationship to this hole here. And so I lined it up. And I guess I could have, what I could have done is just marked it right here. You know, but I, I, I kind of did the same thing because I had my thumb there. So I knew where it needed to be and then I proceeded to, to drill through everything. So, um, gotta get that hole, I'll get that hole done. I uh, just wanted to show you that and then got that. So I got one ran all the way to the top and to the end for the zip tips. And then I've got my one ran for my, so there's two wires that go, three wires that go in here, three. Um, there's a two 14s and a 22 for the pedal static system um, for the controller that's there. And uh, so, yeah, so I got everything uh, riveted in. And done. I used uh, because of the diameter or the length of that shank. I had to use a number seven, four seven, um, to to get these. But yours is going to be different, so it's totally up to you guys uh, what you use and stuff. But there you go. There's one side in. Yeah, it was nerve wracking. A little nervous about drilling drilling into these uh, ribs. But if you look at them, there's a bunch of holes in the ribs. Anyways, you know, little pilot holes. And these are the holes that they want you, that Vans want you to use with the grommets and everything. I didn't use them. Um, now I did put grommets in here. I did, I did went ahead and drilled these out when I was building the, uh, the, the uh, um, wing because I didn't know if I was gonna use them or not. And it, you know, you, you won't be able to get a bit in here afterwards. So I went ahead and drilled these out um, here and and everything i mean i could continue to go ahead and drill them out and just put the grommets in them and i might just do that just as a backup just in case because these are zip zip tied in and say that i needed to replace a uh, pedo static tube or so i don't know you know it's going to be i don't want to say difficult i mean I, now the secret too is i didn't tighten these down except on the ends i can still pull these the other thing too is you want to make sure that you still have flex in the system because you still got to skin this. So make sure you give yourself plenty, plenty of flex um, when you when you put those in and everything. But uh, yeah, so I might just go ahead and continue to maybe drill these out um, just to give me give myself a little extra just in case I had to run another pedo static, um, another you know. Whatever, I, I don't know how you're gonna be able to run it because when this thing is closed up, yeah, well, there are access points so you can reach up in here. Um, it's just not that one, there's a couple along the bottom here. Um, so, so yeah, I think there's three. I gotta go look, but yeah, there it is. Uh, these clips, nothing fancy, they work. They work really well. They fit these, these um, lightning holes lightning lightning holes see how they they fit perfect i mean they're designed this is these are panduit these are made for this so i would expect them to work um now one of the things too is you got to remember the orientation of the uh of the skin um you know don't forget that this thing is actually this is the leading edge down here and this is the trailing edge so it, it's going to lay flat so when these lay down they're gonna you know they're gonna be flat. Um, I did have one screw up. I had to put a rivet in here. Uh, the hole got a little bit big um, and everything, so I couldn't run a, a, a one of these um, pieces. I, maybe I might be able to drill out next to it. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll drill out next to it. Um, I just don't like putting you know holes that close together um, because they, they will lead to crack. So what I did is I sealed it up with a, with a rivet, just put a rivet in there, popped it in there. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, the, to be honest with you, I, I probably will. And let me tell you why, or, or I'll, what I'll do is get one of those spider, um, pieces here. Cause this banging up and down 
we'll probably wear it through. So they make a, a two, actually I've got some for my boat. So that's what I'll do is I'll, I'll probably put a piece in here to protect this. So when it's, well, not, I probably, I will. <laughs> I will put a piece of that in here to, uh, to protect this as it's, you know, cause it's going, or I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I have to make a decision here. I'll make an audible. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, but, uh, uh, so yeah. So, but the key thing is don't zip these down. So they're super tight. You still want them to, to have some flexibility in there and everything. Um, yeah, so that, that's it. So this one here, I have to look, uh, this is for the zip tips. There's going to be quite a few wires going through here. So I'm going to, I don't know. I'll probably just buy a, a, a length of, um, a lot, you know, with wire, uh, they do sell them instead of individual wires. You can buy like six wires in a bundle and stuff. So I might do that to make it pulling through there. Uh, pulling through this tube, I will tell you, is, is difficult. You need a, a wire puller or something to pull it through. Um, you're not going to feed it through because these ridges on the in, on the outside are also on the inside. So it's not something that you're going to be able to pull pull through. And uh, I think they do make this. I'm pretty sure. Now I got this because I'm going to use it in other spots, so it, it will split. Um, and everything, uh, I, you know, personally, I, I did that for a couple reasons. I did it because if God forbid of moisture got in there, it gives it a, a, a ability for it to escape. It can weep through the, the slice here, um, and everything. Uh, that's one reason. The other reason is, is that I'm going to use it for other runs and, and I will need those, but, um, yeah, but once you, once you zip tie them in, you're not going to pull any wire. You're not going to be able to run the wire through that. Um, even if you have the tool because the zip tie, you know, stops right there. But yeah, other than that, it's, uh, they're in. And um, like I said, I, I want to make sure, see I, see, I have it loose enough so I can pull back and forth. So we're not putting too much strain. See how that works. And then, um, and that's the thing is don't, don't crank down on these. I mean, I got tools that will zip these things down where they'll never move, but that's not the goal here. The goal is just to secure it, keep it from rattling. Um, you know, <laughs> yeah, it might vibrate in there, make a noise, but you're not going to hear it anyways when you're flying. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> so, so yeah. So there you go. There's one side in. Like I said, the big key is I made myself a little, a little template for my drill so I can kind of hold this there as I'm drilling, maybe put a bushing in there, might, might have been better, but this works. I'll just do another one for the other side. No big deal, but you know, you learn as you go. And I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mark on this side. So that way when it lines up with the rib um, over here, I know exactly what I was doing is kind of eyeball. I know that I had to be right in the, right on the edge of that. It's hard to tell, but this thing slants out and I needed to be right on the edge. So if I line that up, so what I would do is just take my finger, line it up just like that from the inside, and then I would um, do my punch and, uh, and then drill my hole. And that's how I did it. And uh, they came out perfect and they're all in alignment and they're, you know, they're looking good. Now, some of them will, as you notice, are going that way and the other ones, some of them are going this way. It depends on where the rib is. Um, if, like I said, if you use this grommet, you have to make sure that it, this matches that profile versus the other. There we go again. Lights got turned off. There's my 15 minutes. They said, what, 15 minutes of fame? <laughs> so that's about it. I got one side done. I'll come in, uh, do the other side tomorrow and everything. I'm gonna get out of here. I saw my uh, golf cart. <laughs> I have a golf cart for my office and I see my golf cart. There's some people here working on an airplane uh, in the other hangar, and I, and, I, and I see my golf cart driving around, so I'm gonna have to put a stop to that. Um, yeah, I know. People are like, well, it's just a golf cart. Yeah, but it's my golf cart. And I don't remember anybody asking me if they can drive my golf cart. So, uh, so yeah, I gotta go deal with that. Uh, like always, be well, be safe, and uh, I hope this helped you. Oh, oh, <laughs> before we go, one of the concerns there's an actuator arm that comes through there. So I made sure, I don't know if you can see that. Now it's the angle of the camera, but I made sure if you're looking straight down and you need to do that too, I gotta get the camera. 
If you're looking straight down, you're not blocking this actuator that comes up through here. That's for the elevator, or not for the elevator, the elevator's on the tab. That's for the aileron, that's the aileron actuator. So you just gotta make sure that it's not being blocked and it's not. Um, I looked at the plans to validate that, but you know, but yeah. So that was a concern. Let me see if I can get it dead on. It's kind of, I'm at a crooked this way, so it's gonna, so it's actually kind of like this. So this black tubing is in perfect alignment with this right here, so so we're good, good there. But this be mindful of that and, and everything. So like always, and like I said before, God bless, take care of yourself. Uh, take some time out for yourself, for your family, and uh, be safe.